Hey husband friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am back at Reclamation. I think most of you guys have seen the house plant tour I did of this place before. We're back, they have some super fun plants and I'm going to show them to you and then we're gonna do a mini haul because there's some plants here that I really want, so. I'm excited. All right, starting off, we have Hoya Macrophylla for $20. Hoya Matilde, 28. It's a beautiful vine. Cute. And then a Marble Queen with some Snow Queen sports. This one's gonna be really nice. A watermelon peperomia for ten dollars and some nice art I love coming in here there's just so much to look at here's the big wall of cards And down here we have some Vitonia, some polka dot plants. Oop, this one's gonna flower. And some terrariums for sale. It's 48, 45, 60. We have a Hoya Shepardii, pretty significant one. This is. $60 for this guy. He's big. On our right, we have Skindapsis Pictus Exotica. These guys are $20. That's a good price. More Hoya Macrophylla. Adansoniae. We have Begonia Conchifolia. Ooh, look at those earrings, you guys. Their Monstera Adansoniae is $42 for the big basket. Wow, look at this one. $42 for this, this guy and this guy. Okay, but look at these earrings right here. Oh my goodness. Some more Hoya Matilde. 28. Cute. Hoya Matilde. I really like Hoya Matilde. More Monstera. I just got that begonia. Super excited about it. Ooh, this one's really long. I actually might get this one since it's so much for just 28. Yes. Cactus Beaker. In here we have variegated watermelon peperomia. Polybotra. More earrings. Down here we have eyelash fern, pothos, calathea, and regular ZZ. I don't know which one this is. This is deeper plant. Here's her really big plant she has up here. It's a really cute bookshelf. You can get some newt. Begonia Amphioxus, not for sale. It's cute. Down here we have some Wilfin Sansevieria for 65 for the small ones and 65 for the big ones. Cool. We have a cute little Begonia Terrarium. Palette Polish. Very popular brand right now. Ooh, Sissa's Discolor. Ooh, y'all, that's really cute. Here we have some Pin Life Pins. <laughs> Sad Plants Club. Cute. 
we love enamel pins. I don't know if you guys necessarily want to see all of the jewelry, but you can pause and take a look. Down here we have some plants I've already shown you. The bird's nest fern, Petonia, zebra plants, Maranta leuconiura, and snow queen with some, or marble with some snow queen. Cute. Over here we have some Rexalis. Have some Ethereum Clarinervium. Which Ethereum is this? Uh, that's a Magnifica. Magnifica. Here we have Philodendron Gloriosum. Getting a little wan. $52. Cute. More Sissus Discolor. This is Begonia Maurice Amy. These are terrariums down here. And the amazing Spirit of Sancti just unfurled a new leaf right here. This is new. Cute. We have Philodendron Varicosum, Hoya Sunrise, $34, More Matilde, Gloriosum, we have a Polybatra, Carii Obscura, which one is this? Sunrise again? Sunrise. Kentiana Vergata. We have Hoya Callistophylla, which I am going to be picking up today. I love this plant. Hoya Australis Grand. Multiflora. And we have some Nepenthes back here. This is the Obscura, it turns pink. Obscura is $40. Okay. Down here we have teeny tiny little cactus and succulents. These guys are potted mini plants in two inch terracotta, $5. We have some jewel orchids. Cute, $16. I don't know why these aren't more popular. I love them. And here we have some more succulents. Baby toes getting long. Ooh, tepro cactus. There's this whole area. Here we have a Monstera Thai constellation, which is not for sale. Looks like she gave him a trim. And we have some cute little string of dolphins for $18. This is a key lime pie succulent. And down here we have some more Monstera Deliciosa. These are $24. Look at that little leaf. And that's about it. We have Calathea Macnoia. I love these patterns. We have Clathia Musaica as well. So our $30. And yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I think I forgot these. Down here we have Rick's begonias and Pepperomia frost. $12. Cute. I really like that begonia right there. $82. Cute. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person before actually. Should we see the sparkle? There it is, so sparkly. And the Magnificum, $89. Oh, he's hefty, man. I can't even get the leaves in frame. We just left Reclamation and there's a friend outside. Hi, honey. Oh, so you are. Hello. We love good dogs, don't we? Yes. He's so here good. for the pets. Isn't You're so cute. Hey, how's my friends? So I am back from my day out. It has probably been about seven hours since I've been to Reclamation. And I'm so excited to show you the plants that I got. Sorry that I look so grungy. I mean, I guess I really looked like this earlier, but sorry if there's a little bit extra noise. We're getting ready to make a gingerbread house. So we're getting some things set up. Here we have, I'm so excited. This plant I've been thinking about since I met Chloe in Salt Lake City. Like, I saw it and I haven't been able to get it out of my head. This is Hoya Callistophylla. She's amazing. I love how rigid it is, how tough it is. It's so amazing. It doesn't even feel like a plant. It is just so beautiful. I love it. This plant cost $46, but I did get it on discount. So obviously I didn't pick all of that, but here she is, Hoya Callistophylla. All these plants that I did get were Hoya, by the way. Then we do have the Hoya Matilde. This is a hybrid cross of the Carnosa and the Serpents. This one is really long. It was the longest one she had. All of them were the same price. And this was just the longest one. It's so beautiful. I love these tiny circular leaves. One of my favorite houseplant YouTubers is Urban Jungle MSP. I'll link him in the description. I love all of his Hoyas. He loves his Hoya Matilde and he always talks about it. And so I'm so glad that I can have a cute plant of my own. This one was $28. I also got this plant on discount and here she is. The next two plants I got for free because Elizabeth and I are friends and she is so sweet and thinks of me and she's just honestly the best. So the first one we will talk about is Hoya Rebecca. She cut this one for me fresh today because she learned I didn't have one and wanted me to have one. So let's take it out of the baggie. Hoya Rebecca, she gave me this crazy long cutting. This is so sweet of her. Elizabeth is just the best. I I just, I love that woman so much. She's just so sweet. This one will turn red if you give it enough sun. I don't know that I will be able to, especially now that it's winter, but honestly, you could like, This is the very first plant. I saw this in her video, in one of her, uh, oh geez, in one of her story posts a while ago. And I was like, I need that. And I wasn't like asking her for it. I just wanted to know the name. But then she decided that she would give me one. She wrote down the name for me because it's a lot. This is Hoya Spitangensis. Hoya spitangensis, and here is the cutting. Holy moly. This thing is just beautiful. It's everything I've ever wanted. This and the Callistophylla and the Hoya caudata. It's like so cute. I don't even know how to explain it. Look at that. Here is my complete haul. We have the Hoya Rebecca, the Hoya Spitangensis. We have the Hoya Callista Phyla, which I am by far, well, this is hard actually. I'm very torn between the Spitangensis and the Callista Phyla for my favorite. And the Hoya Matilde. 
So thank you so much for watching this house plant tour and Hoya rare plant haul. Please make sure to leave a like. Please subscribe. Again, sorry that it's a little loud. Please tweet me at David Dobrik. Just kidding. Don't do that. If you have a question about a plant that you weren't sure about, please make sure to leave it in the comment section with a time code. I will tell you what that plant is called. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go build a gingerbread house with my family on my last night in Oregon until December. Also, I'm just really excited. I'm, I'm not gonna show you, but today we we got my wedding ring. I'm so excited. I have to wait like eight months to really wear it, but low key, I've been wearing it all day. I actually started filming this video with it on and my dad was like, hey, take that off. You don't wanna, be, you don't wanna show your wedding ring before you're married because it's like a big reveal, so. Um, I'm just so excited though. So <laughs> thanks everyone for watching and being a part of this journey with me. I'm excited to, you know, get to do more stuff. And I'm trying to work with one of my favorite houseplant shops to do the flowers and the arrangements for my wedding. So hopefully that pans out, uh, but I'm excited. So bye guys. Thanks for watching.